Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you some changes that I've done to Mesh More 4. Some changes that are going to improve our workflows even more. So these changes are uh, related to uh, OBJ files with uh, creating morph target from OBJ files. And if we, uh, we open uh, the window to create a morph target from OBJ files we will see another viewport. Some, uh, some new options here. It looks uh, awesome. So first of all, we have to select our base OBJ and our morphed OBJ. Now the OBJ files are rendered in uh, this uh, viewport here. So we know exactly uh, how uh, they are what what's their, uh, uh, what direction they're facing. So in order for this morph target to be imported successfully, first thing they need to face the same direction as the skeletal mesh. The center model here is our skeletal mesh on which we want to create the morph target. On the left side here it's uh, the base OBJ and on the right side is the morphed OBJ. Both OBJ files need to um, need uh, to have the same direction as the skeletal mesh. So uh, since we have uh, both OBJ files having uh, different uh, directions, we have to deselect log transform. This is a new uh, functionality uh, which allows us to uh, to change the rotation and scale for morph morphed OBJ file uh, at the same time we're doing uh, the changes on base OBJ file. So let me show you. Let me enable this. If we change uh, uh, the uh, rotation here on a base obj file both uh, both obj files uh, have changed the rotation the rotation uh, in the, this uh, window here in this uh, functionality here uh, works like this uh, we have x y and z axis and the input is angles in degrees so we work with real ang angles right so we have uh, here minus 90 we have we have really its angles right so um, first of all let's uh, let's uh, rotate uh, correctly our base of j5 which uh, will have to be here minus 180 degrees so we have now the base of j5 uh, facing the correct direction as uh, the skeletal mesh and uh, now let's uh, let's uh, figure it out what's the rotation for the morphed obj file so we have here 90 as you can see if we make a mistake we can immediately fix it without any issues we don't have to import or struggle what's the coordinate system for unreal what's that what's that if we make a mistake now we know since 90 degrees it's uh, facing uh, uh, that direction if we write here minus 90 we have the correct direction right so the second thing is scaling uh, if uh, we open blender as we look at them at the mannequin front facing it you you can see the head shape goes towards the right right the right uh, side and uh, in uh, mesh morpher it goes towards the left side so in order to fix this we have to invert the models the obj file so in order to do that we have to change the scale if we set minus one here it's not the correct axis because it uh, it rotated our model so we will put back and the correct in this case the correct uh, uh, axis is is a y and uh, we're putting here minus one inverted our model and now we have the head shape uh, towards the right side which is the correct side right and uh, we have to do this uh, with the base obj file as well because both uh, have uh, been exported uh, using the same settings yeah so in order to do this we if uh, we go on the z side for example i just want to show you what happens if we fail uh, if we put here minus one the object gets rotated we know the z axis is not the correct one right and uh, if uh, we put it on uh, x axis minus one now it's the correct side because it didn't it didn't rotate our model at all so we have the correct settings now we have the correct directions 
and now we can go ahead with creating the morph target let's pick a morph target name test test four it's a random name doesn't matter and let's press ok and see what happens we successfully created the morph target let's hit ok and let's see how it looks like this is the correct morph target now we imported it very fast without any hassle we can uh, we can uh, even uh, view it in a skeletal mesh previewer here it works per perfectly fine this is so cool i'm very uh, happy to share this with you guys can't wait for unreal engine 5 to to launch so i can uh, release this awesome version of mesh morpher so this is it for this video guys i hope you you liked it uh, thumbs up if you like the video and thumbs down if you dislike it and uh, yeah see you around guys bye